Well, welcome back to another edition here of the Washington Football Maniacs. Hi, everybody. If you don't know me, my name is Greg Sykes. I am the master here at, well, I don't know what I am here at the Washington Football Maniacs. I guess I'm your host. Um, if you're new here, thank you for joining us. Please consider subscribing to this channel. And when you do, please hit that notification bell. It really helps this channel out a lot when you hit that notification bell. That way you know when I come out with another video and I'm trying to come out with videos on the daily, so please consider subscribing. Well, it was announced that Chase Young and Tyler Lawson will be missing the first four games of the season because they were announced that they were being placed on the physically unable to perform list. And this was really a surprise to absolutely nobody, or at least it shouldn't really be a surprise to anybody. And if it is, you probably don't know the, the full extent of what an ACL tear really does to a player. It really takes a long time for a player to recover. And honestly, even if if both players or one of those players were activated, I'm not sure if you would have really put them into the flow of the game right from the get-go anyway. Um, because, for instance, I mean, take a look at RG3. They rushed him back, and he just was never really the same after that. And... You know, a little injury prone as well, but, you know, that's that's just a prime example. And even past RG3, there's been other players who have just not really performed very well in their, their season coming back after an ACL tear. Now, there, there's always anomalies. There's always players who come back and they're like twice as strong. Um, it seemed like I remember Terry Allen, who was uh, the running back for us back in the 90s he was a great running back for the minnesota vikings before he came to washington i think he had two knee surgeries now i don't believe that they were acl tears but i can't remember um two and he was a fantastic running back even after those injuries but just to say that it takes a long time to heal up from an acl tear so i was not expecting someone like chase young to come back week one at all for this team. I was really expecting him to be out at least a couple of weeks. So four weeks, I was surprised. Totally, absolutely zero <laughs> with that. Um, and certainly there are fans, when, when I saw this on social media, they were like, oh, Chase Young is a bust. That was a wasted pick. All this stuff. Absolutely stupid comments because... You know, the guy had an ACL tear. Of course, he's going to be out. You know, if it, if it was at the beginning of last season, you would probably expect him to be ready for this season. But that, that was not the case. So, you know, you don't want to rush someone like Chase Young back too early at all. So, surprise to no one. Tyler Lawson, I wasn't really sure. Um, I actually... In a way, I kind of felt that maybe Tyler Lawson uh, would come back a little bit sooner. But I think it's it's good to know that we, we got some good quality depth on the offensive line. And I, I felt like uh, Ishmael has come in and he's played pretty good at the center position. We haven't really had a lot of issues there with, uh, you know, center to quarterback exchanges or anything like that. Um you know, that, that's one of the up things when you do have your starters out uh, on that offensive line. You do get a chance of having your other guys coming in, getting some playing time, and they got a lot of playing time last year. So it's, it's helped to build up depth, and I think that is the best thing that this uh, team can have when it comes to uh, things like this is having good quality depth. So being able to have that luxury of being able to put your starters on the PUP list at the beginning of the season, give them that little extra time to kind of, you know, continue to, to, to recover, 
to train and to be 100% because the last thing you want to do is get these guys out there too early because they're just going to re-injure themselves and going to ruin their careers. We definitely don't want to do that to either Tyler and especially, no, Chase Young at all. He's going to be a superstar. You guys are just going to have to understand you got to treat ACL tears like, I mean, you got to treat it with kid gloves. You can't just assume it's like a broken arm or something and then they just come back in and, and they're just fine. It just it doesn't work that way. Um, uh, the other bit of news, of course, Calvin Harmon, um, you know, the team let him go. And that, again, to me, was not going to be really big news either. Right now, the wide receiving core is so crowded that I think you're going to see some surprise cuts. You're probably going to get your heart broken when you find out who gets cut at the wide receiver position. I'm just going to say that, and it's probably going to really make some people mad, but that's just the case. I think you're going to see that uh, because, honestly, you know you, you have uh, Jahan Dotson, uh, Terry McLaurin, uh, Curtis Samuel, um, you know, and then you have uh, Cam Sims and um, Dax Mill, Millen, Millen, <laughs> Dax Millen, um, and you just, I mean, the list goes on and on, and there's just not going to be a lot of room for all of these guys, so I don't know. You may wind up seeing some guys get cut, and you're like, whoa, I wasn't expecting that. So Calvin Harmon, I had hoped that he could have uh, recovered. You know, it's just a shame. I really think had he not gotten injured, he would have probably developed into something pretty decent for us. You know, I mean, Cam Sims, I think, has developed into a solid receiver for us. And Calvin Harmon, I think, could have been, but unfortunately, the injury, he's going to hes gonna be a good receiver for somebody. He's going to get picked up pretty quickly, I believe. Uh, I just don't think that there was room for him on this team. We just have far too good of talent up above him or, or ahead of him uh, in order to, to keep a, a Calvin Harmon. Um, so that being said, I wish him well. Uh, not too well, especially if he gets – you know, picked up by somebody like Dallas or, you know, just somebody within the, the uh, division, but no surprise there. I, honestly, I was surprised that he was still on the team, but um, that being said, Harmon's gone, Chase Young, um, Tyler Larson starting the season on the PUP list. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. And Again, folks, please, if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. Hit that notification bell so you will always know when we come out with the videos here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. My name is Greg Sykes, and let's go to the next video. Can't seem to get out.